Virgo. This is Carrie from Celestial Forecasts. I hope you're all doing well. So this is going to be an energy check-in for you and whoever it is you're thinking about for the first half of August. I'll be using both of these decks, the Relationship Design Cards by Sister Moon Tarot and the Angels of Romance Oracle by Jennifer Aquarius Tarot. And I'll clarify with my own tarot decks. So let's get into it, guys. Angels and Spirit Guides, please, for Virgo. What do we need to know? general advice as always so please do keep that in mind Virgo and take the bits and parts of it that do make sense for you and release the rest what do we need to know here first half of August attraction secret admirer beauty undeniable so there could be somebody who's actually interested in you but maybe you don't know Let's see what else for Virgo. Signs, angel numbers, animals, messages. Okay, so pay attention, Virgo, especially the first half of the month when it comes to this particular someone because, you again, you might not know who this is or for some of you guys, maybe you have an idea, but they have not come forward to open up and maybe tell you that they're interested We'll see. All right, so let's go ahead and clarify with some tarot here. I'll be pulling from my tabby tarot teacher for Virgo. All right, what is going on? So this is coming through initially for the Divine Feminine. So maybe, Divine Feminine, there is a masculine here who's admiring you from a distance. What do we need to know? And I'm kind of feeling this for some of you guys. This might even be an ex-partner. I don't know. I'm just getting that for some. They're still attracted to you, but they don't want you to know that they're still keeping tabs on you somehow. Look at that, Seven of Cups. Maybe part of the reason why they might not be with you in the 3D is because they had other options, okay? Maybe they had too many people in their circle and so now this could all be a fantasy for them to to take a, a look at what life would have been like if you guys were together or could be together yep this is somebody that you're romantically linked to virgo but they're not with you they still find you to be very attractive they're they know and feel this undeniable chemistry that you guys still share could be a Gemini okay we have Taurus coming through as well we have water signs so Cancer Scorpio or Pisces so deep love the romantic feelings they have for you the sexual attraction they have towards you they still see you as somebody that they would want to explore a relationship with because they still see you as a potential to be their love partner in this lifetime but part of their issue is that there could be other people that are interested in them as well. Now, here's where it gets interesting, Virgo. Okay, so if somebody is keeping tabs on you somehow, this is somebody that's not with you currently, they're romantically interested in you, the lover's card represents a choice that perhaps they know they need to make. But if they don't make it, if they're in fantasy land, if they're just, you know, thinking about you romantically or having these feelings for you, but not actually telling you in real life, then they're risking missing the opportunity to do that. So they can't be doing that forever. Otherwise, that window of opportunity will close. So for now, they're thinking about, you know, what they want to say to you, how that conversation might go. But part of the reason why they miss the chance is that, you know, other people get in the way. We do have the world here. Okay. 
for some of you guys, I feel that this could have been a past romantic involvement. You guys could have had a pretty intense connection at one point in time. But part of the, the problem, as we see, is having way too many choices, way too many options when it comes to love connections. And so we have a situation here that's at a stalemate, you know? It seems to be stuck and stagnant. They need to make that decision. They need to make a choice. They need to choose you. But unfortunately, the way it's coming through here, this is somebody that couldn't make up their mind. You know, they wanted to play. They wanted to have their adventures. They wanted to have their fun. This person could have been super attractive as well, where they know that they didn't have any issues attracting people. And that could ultimately be why we're at a crossroads here. Talk about a sign, right? We've got the star. So this person, you know, maybe they're seeing particular signs that keep drawing them back to you, regardless of however many people might be interested in them. There's something about you and the connection that they keep going back to. But maybe you put a stop to it, Virgo, and they ultimately know that you're not an option. They can't play with your affections. Maybe you put your foot down, okay? So let's see, what else? What else do we need to know here for Virgo? So they missed out or are about to miss out on the opportunity to be with you if they don't get serious and make a decision, make a choice already. Yeah, chemistry, sparks of love and passion. Mm -hmm. So, you know, this person, maybe they are in and out of people's lives simply because it's a physical connection that could have been what they were about. But somewhere along the line, you know, they had some real feelings for you, but they're not exactly sharing that with you. Or maybe they never had the opportunity to say it. Wow. All right, let's grab, let's grab another card here for you, Virgo. Look at this, this person. They want to talk to you. They want to reach out. Someone wants to reach out to you. Okay. They still feel the chemistry. They feel the spark. They still love you. Let's grab some insight. Let me pull from my tarot teacher, the revised edition. So do they have the best of intentions coming your way? Angels and spirit guides, please, for Virgo. Divine Feminine, you're coming in as the Queen of Pentacles. I feel you gave this person so much, so much of your heart, so much of your presence, of your love. Maybe even financially, you could have extended yourself to this person. But we are seeing a tower here. So the foundation that once could have been quite prominent between the two of you, it fell apart. Created a separation here, but they're clearly still thinking a lot about you. Ten of Pentacles. Maybe Virgo at this point in time as well, financially, things could be looking up for you. So your business environment, your work environment could be pretty strong right now. Your family life could also be a lot better. But in a romantic love reading, Ten of Pentacles is beautiful. It's a strong, secure, romantic connection. And sometimes, you know, it could even be people that are very compatible. They're perfectly matched up. But somebody 
did not recognize that perhaps until they lost you and here we are with the regrets okay the five of cups and we're seeing the two of swords again so as we can see here virgo this is a situation that seems to be stuck but we have somebody who wants to reach out to you regardless of that they're feeling lost they're sad they definitely feel the emptiness because you're not there and the thing is, you know, we saw that they had other options, so they might have already moved on to other relationships, but they still think about you. Nine of Swords. Yeah, they're not sleeping. They're thinking about you. They're having nightmares. They're dealing with insomnia, perhaps anxiety. They want to reach out, but maybe they're afraid of what would actually happen. But more than likely at this point, Virgo, you've already moved on with your life. You know, it took a long time perhaps for you to heal from this, but you worked on it. But maybe this person, they're still struggling through it. They know, they recognize why things are stagnant, why things seem to be stuck between the two of you, because they created a situation here that resulted in a tower moment. There's a part of them that wishes they could start again. But it really is a chapter of this love story that has come to an end. Bottom of the deck, your own energy. I feel you did a lot of soul searching in order to come to this conclusion, Virgo, when it comes to this connection. I feel perhaps in your heart space, you'll always have love for them. You'll always feel the chemistry, but you also know what resulted in that tower and why perhaps you had to close the door on this connection. And maybe it's enough for you to find out that they still think about you, that they still feel the ramifications, the consequences of their actions. You know, they want to reach out, but it's a conversation perhaps that may never happen. I don't know. That's just the way it's coming through here for me. So if this is something that you are able to relate to, I do hope that it offered you some clarity, some guidance pertaining to this connection from the past. And um, if you are interested in your own reading, that info is down below in the description box. And I will, of course, include the link to the decks that you see here. Thank you so much, Virgo. I'll see you next time. <music>